I think the intelligent design argument um, for, say, irreducible complexity is basically saying, here's a very complex object, like the ones I'm telling you that self-assemble. And the argument is this could not have possibly have happened through an evolutionary pathway. But I want to take that step. I, think, I don't think that is the right way of looking at these problems. Even for those things where we don't yet know by which pathway these things have evolved, I think that's the wrong way of thinking about it. And the reason I say that is because if I look at something like the bacterial flagellar motor, one question is how has it evolved? Another question is how does it self-assemble? And in fact, this question about how things self-assemble has been, scientists have looked at this for quite the last few decades. And if you just count the number of ways that proteins that come together, that are happening right now in your body, thousands of times coming together in little flagellar motors, the number of ways they can come together which is wrong is millions and billions and hugely more than the number of ways they can come together that's right. This system doesn't have time to search through that whole big zoo of different possibilities and find that one state, which is the correct state for the bacterial flagellar motor. But in spite of that, it works. So we see it. If we didn't see it, we wouldn't believe it, right? Because the argument, the theoretical arguments, that it couldn't possibly come together in, in, the, in, in the, the 20 minutes that it takes, because it couldn't search through all the possibilities that are wrong to find that one possibility that's right, seems very strong. But in fact, we observe that it's true. And so people like myself and many people, we, other scientists, have thought about this in a mathematical sense. And we now understand why, from the many ways that it could be come together wrong, it comes together right, even though there's no guiding hand pushing it. And that's something that happens in real time, to, you know, that happens again and again and again. And so the fact that it took us quite a while to understand these principles makes me think that we could do the same over evolutionary time, over a much longer period of time. There's no reason why, if we think about this long enough, we may not find the answer. So that is perhaps a complicated way of explaining that self-assembly in real time would, in fact, if you thought about it in the intelligent design way, this use the same arguments, in real time it shouldn't come together, but it does. Okay? And we now understand that it does. But if those things came to us fully formed and we didn't see the self-assembly process, you could make an intelligent design type argument to say it never could possibly happen. It's only the fact that we see it that, that, um, that pushes that direction. Thank you.